Hey guys, how's it going? So, okay. To be honest, I got this shirt made a very, very long time ago. And basically, I've never really had the balls to wear it up until now. I mean, considering like, who wears a t-shirt with their name on it, it's really not. I really should have thought it out before I got it made. But considering this entire video has an Instagram theme, I thought, well, hey, I'll just chuck it on. Maybe they'll think it's punny. Maybe a little bit. So as some of you may or may not know, I'm a little bit of an Insta fanatic. And by that, I mean I'm kind of a like. But anyway, the reason why I'm kind of making a whole video about this right now is because I'm coming up on a very important milestone. And in order to appreciate that milestone, we kind of need to go into the not too distant past. If you wind back the clocks and you go to like my first couple of days on Instagram, I did what most annoying people like to do. I bragged about my followers inside my Facebook group chat. There, I said it, okay? So I went up, logged into Facebook, and started typing something along the lines of this. Dudes, I have 32 Insta followers. Okay, granted, the majority of them were friends and family and the occasional dude who knew I yo-yoed, but that's still 32 people following me. And in response to the announcement of my epic achievement, I was hit with this. That wasn't your Facebook, that was me. Actually, I think the Facebook sound effects have changed right now, so that might not even fool you guys. You know what? Don't even worry. I was kind of proud of my Insta following at the moment, and basically he cut me down, so I started going into a monologue about how I would slowly take over the world. I wrote something along the lines of this. Yep. Yes, it sounds naive, but that's actually what I wrote. I'm not really censoring anything. This is how the conversation went. So basically, after a lot of banter, we decide to make a bet. We put $5 on it, and his first guess, the person who I'm talking to, <clears throat> his first guess is that I'll cap out at 100 followers. Okay? Then one of my friends reminds him that, hey, I've got a YouTube account, you know, there's a few yo-yos on there, there might be more than 100 people following him there, you might want to up the bet a little bit. So he says, 200 followers. And then after that, it goes to 1,000, and then we finally stop at 2,000 followers. But he says, that is my legit max. Now, back then, yeah, that was, that, that, that seemed very much plausible, actually, because I only had about barely a thousand subscribers on YouTube, and in order for me to get 2,000 subscribers, that would mean I'd have to get every single person subscribing to me on YouTube to follow me on Instagram, and then find a thousand more people to do that. I mean, how many yo-yos in the world are there? Would that even be possible? To be perfectly honest, I didn't think I'd ever actually get there. And besides, I was an Insta noob, I didn't really know how many followers everyone else had. But I made the bet anyway, out of ego, out of pride, out of pretty much not really wanting to lose this argument to this person who didn't believe. And what ensued was pretty much a battle. It was kind of like, there were some low points, there were some high points, there were points where I was like, no, this isn't gonna work. There were other points where I'm like, yes, I'm totally gonna win this thing. Basically, I got some t-shirts made just in case I ever needed to use them, which I technically didn't. He started, he tried to start a smear campaign. In fact, that was actually pretty recent. If you look through my Facebook profile, don't worry, you have my permission to do it. You might actually find it. The post looked something like this. Anyway, the reason I told you that entire spiel was because recently I hit 2,000 Instagram followers and I really wanted to thank you guys. Now, to a lot of people that's a modest following and to a lot of other people, who cares? Well, basically I just wanted to take this time to thank you guys, each and every one of you. Like, the only reason I make these videos is because somewhere, somehow, maybe one person is being helped by these videos, okay? Whether it be a review, whether it be a, <laughs> um, you know, a competition advice, whether it be a tutorial. Look, yo-yoing is very rarely taught in person, okay? I didn't meet a yo-yoer until I was, well, well into two years of yo-yoing, okay? If it wasn't for Andre Boulay, if it wasn't for every other person who ever made a tutorial, I wouldn't know how to yo-yo, I wouldn't know where to buy yo-yo, I wouldn't even know yo-yos existed. That's kind of why I've made this whole channel, to kind of give back. 
So, back to the whole Insta followers thing. Thank you guys for all the support. Honestly, I never thought I'd actually get there. I got there the other day and I was, you know, I'm ready to get my $5. So, matey, when you're ready, I could use that five bucks. It's kind of, you're kind of due now. Anyway, that was kind of a cheesy video, but I really wanted to make one because this bet has literally been going on for like an entire year. Like our group chat was actually named the amount of Insta followers I had just so I could keep track and keep him to his word. Anyway, thank you guys so much for all the support. I'll probably try and work out a giveaway soon. I'm kind of not sponsored at the moment, but I'll try and figure something out. And I guess I'll see you, all of you in the new year, okay? Boom. See you guys next time.